This week we're going to be making pumpkin cinnamon roll using fresh pumpkin puree. Now this is a take on your classic cinnamon roll, but I just feel like you can do so much with like the pumpkin puree that we made in last week's series that this week I just think that that, that we can just take that classic dish and just amplify it. Let's crack on with the dough. Okay, so it's a fairly straightforward dough mixture. Uh, we're combining the wet ingredient, so that is the milk and the butter. You want to heat up the milk up to around about 60 degrees and then add the butter to melt. Now you reduce that temperature to around about 36 degrees to avoid killing the yeast. Then add the egg in with the milk in combination to form your dough. Now the dough should be slightly soft and sticky you're working with a very rich dough here it's not like your normal bread dough and you're basically working it and kneading it for around about 10 minutes and the ideal world is is that you shouldn't add too much flour to your surface now the trick is is if your dough is still sticky you haven't kneaded it enough and the idea is to work in that gluten without breaking up the structures um and then we're going to be resting it for 10 minutes because this is only a one proof recipe you can of course proof it twice i'll leave that option up to you guys now the focus is the pumpkin butter now the last video we made the pumpkin puree so please do go and check that video before watching this one because it's really handy so all the ingredients and instructions will be left down in the description below and of course if there's anything that i've used in particular this video or the next few videos will always be in the description so please do take please do take please do check the description down below and finally, if there is any other spin-offs or any other sort of ingredients that I'm missing or want to add into this recipe or you want to, you know, or you want to let me know, please do comments down below. I do request as it will help me out so much for you guys to like this video, leave a comment down below, click on the bell and press obviously subscribe. It tends to be super helpful to know if whether this video is the kind of content that you guys like. Apologies for the interruptions from the past me. However, we're gonna focus on the pumpkin butter now. Now, reduce the pumpkin to remove any excess liquid, and then you're gonna be seasoning it with all your favorite spices, whether that's allspice, cinnamon, cardamom, cumin, whatever it is, and then you're gonna be adding condensed milk to make it oh, wow, very buttery. So and this is what you're gonna be adding into your cinnamon roll. Now you should find that the pumpkin butter should hold it itself on its own and it's very thick and luscious and when it cools down it'll thicken even more. Now to focus on the dough, now the dough should have been resting for around about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how long it took to make the pumpkin butter. Now you're just rolling it out and spreading out a thin layer of the paste. You will find that this will go a long way and you can see how thick and luxurious this is and honestly you can add this to anything even to your toast it's so delicious on its own as well now i just want to make a focus that i don't actually care about borders so i will spread this right to the edge i am that kind of girl who will spread their butter and jam to the edge of their toast so if you're like me you'll find that these edges will be spilling out filling which is the best way to have it now i don't know if there's any trick or rule about how to roll your cinnamon roll but i presume slightly tight a bit like a sushi and then hope for the best because the pumpkin butter will naturally kind of spill out it's much thicker than your cinnamon butter and it has a bit more water content than you expect so when you're cutting it please do expect some spillage and please respread the leftovers back onto the cinnamon roll because that's what's going to keep it really moist and not like sort of crusty which you tend to get with the cinnamon roll that's not kind of my my intention here but depending on the oven setting it can go a little hard Ugh. oh it's a squidgy one It's very spooky. Extremely spooky. So I don't know how big your tins are, but these are a grower and not a shower. So do expect these to actually grow 
double, if not more, than their size over a 90 minute proof. Now moving forward, we're gonna be making a classic cream cheese frosting. Now if you don't add this on top, you're making a cardinal sin here because with cinnamon rolls aren't anything without the cream cheese filling. I mean, speak among yourself, down in the comments down below if you think so. Now whilst I'm making the frosting for the cinnamon roll, I would like you guys, if you have come this far, please comment down below the pie emoji for a pumpkin pie for this current season. Now I have loved and enjoyed so many of you guys commenting that in the previous video. I want to continue it and I think it's really fun. Now like I said, they did grow. <laughs> um, they do become massive if you do leave them too long so don't overproof. I'd say no more than 90 minutes and they cook around about 20 minutes in the oven. Now as you see I didn't have enough for one oven to tin but they were still amazing on their own. Um, they should slightly brown. I actually left mine a little bit too long. That was my fault. Please don't follow my footsteps. Um, but the Cream cheese frosting will cover a world of harm. And honestly, these were so delicious. Super tender, really creamy, and the pumpkin filling just spilled out. And that's what you want. And that is what this season's all about. Forget pumpkin pie, even though I mentioned it earlier. I think this is the new version of a pumpkin pie. Oh yeah. Okay, this is me being too eager to do a voiceover right now, but do you guys tear apart your cinnamon roll or do you cut and slice into it? Because the things I've seen after this clip was unbelievable. My family was split between the two. Some sliced and some teared. And I am so, like, I have a complex now as to whether you should be doing either. Okay, so, okay, so... It, Okay, so it is the next. Oh, one second. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I didn't get to a chance to actually film the ending of the pumpkin cinema roll, and I've finally been able to get the lighting right as well. Um, don't get me wrong, the cinema roll was so like the pump. Don't get me wrong, the pumpkin cinnamon roll was really hard to resist. The whole house smelled so good because of the cardamom, the cinnamon, the spice, the pumpkin. Oh, it's just so good. And once I made the cream cheese like icing on top, oh, it was so hard to resist, but I literally had to lock it away. And now I finally cut myself a slice. That is actually missing in one of its rolls, funny enough. But, um,. I don't know how to like film this. Okay, so here it is and it's all in its, well actually no, this is it all and in all its glory. So good, look at this. Proper like American style cinnamon roll as well. They are like at least two inches thick. They're so super, super tall. Like this is a, sh this is a very tall bowl already. This is like typically a pasta or soup bowl, but like this is a very tall bun. It looks so good. I can't even explain to you how good the pumpkin looks through the actual thing. So you will be able to see it there. The paste did really well. It acted what we wanted to do. Replace the butter, replace the cinnamon and sugar with the pumpkin paste and the actual seasoning and the um, condensed milk. And it just, it did such a good job. I can't explain to you like how excited. Also look how soft the bread is. That's how you know we did really well in, oh, and it's a little bit cakey as well. You know how well you did in terms of the, um, you know how well you've done when you've actually kneaded it and proofed it at the right amount of time. Mm. Big chunk of pumpkin now. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Now, not to continue to sound like Winston Churchill, or the English Bulldog Winston Churchill. It's so good. It's so worth to try. Honestly, this is like one of the first recipes that I've worked with pumpkin. I don't really, I don't use pumpkin that much. Now, when I say we don't use it, I just mean in, in terms of the sweet rather than the savory. To traditional dishes in Vietnamese and Chinese, typically you eat them as a stir fry or like a, like you put it into your soups and stuff like that. It's so nice. And honestly, the pumpkin paste works so well as well. Perfectly sweet, 
like Asian sweet, not obviously like what I mean, like like sugary sweet. It's like the perfect balance. As always, guys, I leave all the instructions and the ingredients down listed down below. If you have come this far, please leave me a Halloween emoji and please comment and like and subscribe and click on the bell for more of this sort of for more of this sort of content. I love interacting with you guys, so please do drop a comment down below. The next episode will be us making um, the next episode we're gonna be making pumpkin bolo bao or pumpkin pineapple bum. It's a traditional Hong Kong it's a tradition it's a traditional Hong Kong bum, but we're gonna start it's a traditional Hong Kong bum, but there's gonna be a slight twist to it. There's gonna be a pumpkin butter paste inside. Similar thing that we use for the cinnamon roll but we're gonna be putting it inside the bun and it's gonna like, when we break it apart, it's gonna have that sort of lovely biscuit shell with the bun inside and the filling and it's gonna look so good. I can't wait now. Now, please do check out the previous episode. I know I'm, <laughs> I'm making you guys do a lot of work here, but in the previous episode, we did the pumpkin puree and the roasted seeds. Always nice, classic, basic stuff so you can do. It's really quick and almost barely any effort really it's a great way to use up all your halloween pumpkins especially if you are carving this year or if you're just buying it because you really just want to try out those recipes mm. so good look at that mm. i feel like i'm nigella lawson but it's still daytime so oh. mm. I'm literally looking forward to this top bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so good. <laughs> Just look at the crosswork of that. Whoa. And finally, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. Bye.